Yo, this is Patrick from Guy in the Cube, and in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how to use the new conditional formatting for visual titles in Power BI. All right, so let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so I got this report, and on this report, I have, you know, a slicer where I can select the year. Yeah, you know, I can select the year. And as I select the year, you can see that these items are changing. But what I'd like to do is I have, I'd like to have this, the title of this chart reflect that. So I want to say, you know, total sales for 2017, total sales for 2018. Now, before conditional formatting for visual titles were, were released, was released, you know, I could do this, but I'd use like a card or a custom visual or even a table to display this, this dynamic label. But now, and I have some videos that show you how to do it. So go check those videos out. But now I can put it actually in the visual itself. So let me show you what I did, what I, how to do this. The first thing you want to do is create a measure. So I'm going to right click here. Um, it's a new measure. I'm going to call this selected year. If I can type, right? Equals, and we're going to say this total, total sales for, just like that, right? And then we're going to close it off and put amp ampersand and say selected value. And we want to show the year. So we're going to say year. And then if no year is selected, we're going to say all years, just like that, right? And then I'm going to click my checkbox here, validate my DAX. Bam, I'm ready to go. So then I select that visual. Once that visual is selected, open up the visualization pane, look for title, expand title out, hover over it, and you'll see these little dots, right? This little ellipsis, this up and down ellipsis. Click it, and you'll see an option for conditional formatting. And the text title, the title text dialog will appear, and in the based on field drop down, expand out, expand the date table, or whatever table it is where you uh, save that measure, and select the measure, and click OK. And what you'll see automatically total sales for 2018, total sales for 2019, 2017. This is just great. And now I'm going to show you something else I did, a little, a little fancy, right? So if I right click on one of these bars, I'm going to drill through to another page just for monthly sales. And I have another bar, a line graph here that I want to do the exact same thing. I already created the measure just a little ahead of time. So I don't have to do all that typing. You can see monthly sales for this month and this year and all I need to do now is collect, click the line chart, go to the format option, expand out title, hover over it, you'll see the ellipsis appear and then do repeat the exact same steps, just choose the monthly sales title. Click OK and now you can see monthly sales for April 2019. Just works, it's so easy, it's like a piece of cake. All you gotta do is learn what? The clicks. Now, if you wanna revert back to the original one where you type your own, your own title here, all you need to do is hover over, go back to that visual, go to the format pane, hover over the ellipsis and just choose revert to default and it'll go back you know, to nothing and then you can type in your own title. Just that easy. This is so great. All right, you guys got any questions, comments, you know what to do, post them in the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.